right now we're gonna be i added brake fluid to it so it's got brake fluid now but we still have no brake pressure so it's possible that this reservoir was just super super empty and it's got some air in it now so we're gonna be bleeding it so he's gonna help me out he's gonna uh, pump the brake pedal pump the brake pedal go ahead keep pumping all right release release the brake pedal i'm gonna open these two all right now you're gonna press all the way to the floor and hold okay so we got fluid from the rear nothing yet from this one so keep holding All right, pump it up. You feel anything at all? Still all the way to the floor, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's stiff, you said? Yeah. Press all the way, hold. Okay, pump it. All right, stop. Press all the way, hold. So I'll be using the automatic trans fluid for this car. I already put the drain plug back in. And here's my setup of filling it up with fluid. Down there, there's actually a, uh, where the cable goes for the speedometer. And then there was actually a gear. So I took that out. And that's how you refill. And the owner's manual says that's how you refill the trans fluid on this car. So this is the gear I was talking about. That's where the speedometer cable goes. And to check the level, you just literally install this all the way in, pull it out. The level has to be just slightly above this plastic gear. Well, there's the fluid, guys. You can see the fluid. And here's the gear. I'm gonna install it. And we can check the level with that. Okay, here it is, all the way, and now I'll pull it. That's basically it. It's your dipstick. Right there, she's full. So I could probably add a little bit more, but it's gonna be okay. That's basically according to the manual. And I think I put like five quarts, to be honest with you, because this, before this thing literally like was super low, and on the drain was like probably just two and a half quarts and it's supposed to have like five or something but yeah now i'm gonna restore everything back and we're gonna be done with this fluid change so if you're not sure whether you installed that sensor all the way properly uh, in the middle you, there's basically a shaft that connects to that plastic gear so you can lift the car up on the side put it in neutral spin the tire and you will see that shaft that's in the middle of that uh, gear uh, will be spinning. I can't really see it now, but it's spinning. I already checked it. I've been uh, doing a lot of cleaning on this car now. At the moment, there's a bunch of garbage everywhere, so I'm trying to make it look good again, you know. So I'm just cleaning all the areas and everything. All the carpets are gonna get cleaned up. is all getting cleaned up and uh, clean this cover and everything looking so much so much better finally so the tailgate area is basically almost done 
done with cleaning everything. Same with the side panels. They're pretty nice and clean now. And now I removed this uh, center console piece. It's pretty nasty. I'm going to be washing it too. And I'm going to clean everything right here in the meantime. And I'm going to adjust this parking brake. Okay, so just got to adjust it a little bit. Because it has a bunch of clicks. And, you know, I don't like it. Alright, so I took the seat out and I'm scrubbing everything. The carpets are pretty nasty, unfortunately. You know, there's a bunch of spills everywhere and all that stuff. I'm not going to be able to make it perfect. Uh, it would be nice to have a steam cleaner actually to go through all this. But I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to do as much work as I can, you know, make it cleaner as much as possible. So it looks a lot nicer. And I already adjusted the parking brake mechanism. You just let a 10 millimeter nut, you just screw it one way, uh, clockwise, right there, and that tightens up your uh, parking brake. From the factory in the manual, it says it should be five to seven clicks. Okay, so I just actually have to adjust a little more. I can do it by hand, actually. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's a lot tighter. It's awesome. All right, the center console right here is reinstalled. This is all cleaned up, reinstalled. Unfortunately, it's just, you know, quite a bit of worn out. I have to start cleaning this again a little bit. There's a little bit more dust. But everything else here is back. I'm gonna keep cleaning the carpets. I'm gonna clean that seat, shampoo it, and all that. So now I'm trying to troubleshoot why these bulbs are not working. You can see a bunch of rust in there. So I want to clean all this stuff up and remove this bulb, clean up the rust. And this one's also like really dirty on the inside, not looking good. Chocolate milk. I think this warmer has a bad head gasket. So the seat is all drying up right now and I finished cleaning it, scrubbing it with the cleaner and all that and hot water. Uh, so I'm gonna let it dry and yeah, we'll reinstall it onto the passenger side of the car. This stuff can be also lubricated with automatic trans fluid. That's gonna be a little bit later. Main thing is this upholstery, this this thing was super trashed and dirty. It had a lot of staining, now it's looking so nice. Okay, so this part right here is ready. The carpet, so scrub, it's not perfect, obviously. You know, I actually need a steam cleaner to make this thing amazing, but I cleaned all the garbage out and everything. I scrubbed it here and there, and uh, it looks so much, so much better. All right, so I also cleaned some more of those uh, um, floor mats and I'm gonna throw the seat back in here all right so it's about three o'clock in the morning and I'm working on this Mazda again uh, there's a bunch of work I just took out this driver's seat and that one's already done it's drying up so I'm gonna be cleaning this area up and then I'm also gonna be cleaning that seat right there so there's a bunch of work that I have to do check this out Wow, look at all that, it's like brand new. Wow, amazing. I'm gonna keep cleaning this. All right, quick update. So clean this side, just got a left with that side. Put the garbage bags there so none of the trash goes onto the other side. Uh, also just cleaned up the door panel and rinsed it off with water now. It's just drying up. So, slowly but surely, and then I have to clean this side right here. It's all dirty. Alright guys, so this is the next day, and uh, everything is still drying on this car on the inside. This is nice and clean and everything. 
this seat. And then that one is not bolted in yet, all right? Um, but I've cleaned the carpets and everything, cleaned, scrubbed, shampooed the seat. It's still drying up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the master cylinder on this car. Fortunately, I noticed that this wheel cylinder is bad too. It'll have to be replaced. There was a brake fluid leak all over the inside of the wheel as well. That was after the little test drive that I did with this car that I didn't film. But yeah, this stuff is gonna have to get taken care of. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I still have to mount the battery properly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, master cylinder.